Hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, this video is about how to install the XGBoost library in Python uh, in Anaconda in Windows 10. Uh, now to install XGBoost, uh, XGBoost is basically a supervised learning library in which you can use classification as well as regression. Uh, so in to install it, you need to go to this web page or you can just search install XGBoost in Anaconda. So this is the first link that comes up. Okay, and so you need to run this command in Anaconda prompt. So let's open Anaconda prompt. Okay, so let's copy this command and paste it here. Uh, it will take some time to start. Okay, so it has started collecting package metadata, solving environment. I am going through the full installation just to see how long it takes. So let's have a look at the documentation for XGBoost for Python. Basically, once it gets installed, we, we should be able to run this command. Now XGBoost comes with, uh, I think, some of the input files available. OK, anyways, we can do that later. Let's see. Okay, so the solving environment is done. Now we have to select whether we want whether we want to proceed. No, definitely, we want to proceed. So we'll click. We'll uh, type Y and enter. Okay, so the installation of the package is done. Now let's go to Python and see whether our X import XGBoost as XGB works fine. So let's copy this. Okay, so uh, it's running uh, properly. Uh, now I'll take a small example, maybe some data set and uh, just run a classification uh, model using XGBoost. Okay, so I just paused the video to uh, come up with some of the script to test whether our uh, the package we installed is working properly or not. So uh, uh, this is Jupyter Notebook, and uh, let let's start uh, doing running this running the cells. Now the first line, the first uh, two lines is importing NumPy and pandas. Okay, the second line, uh, I'll just zoom in. The second uh, import import XG boost as XGB. Now, as we checked in Anaconda prompt that this was working. Now, if the, the library is not installed properly, this code will not run. But since we have uh, successfully installed it, so it should run. Okay. Now again, now I am importing the train test uh, split module from Escalon modules uh, from Escalon library to split the data set into training and testing sets. Okay, and this line I am importing the iris dataset which I have, uh, which I have already saved online. So let's uh, download this dataset. Let's look at the iris dataset. So it has sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species. Uh, so this is what we'll be uh, uh, will do the classification on. Another iris dataset is one of the most classical dataset available, and it is very good for testing testing purposes uh, we'll divide the data set into x and y that is the the training set and then the labels basically the uh, predictor variables and response variables now doing the train test split 
I have taken the test size as 20% and random state as 1 to 3. Random, random state is just so that the, our, our uh, outputs are uh, can be replicated or, or are reproducible. Okay, now this is the XGBoost classifier uh, syntax. We type in XGB and then XGB classifier. The objective is binary logistic, logistic and seed again 1, 2, 3. Now for regression, you can use uh, regression in, in, in place of uh, classifier. So let's instantiate the XGB classifier. Okay, now we'll fit the model on our X train and Y train. Okay. Now let's test the accuracy on, on our training set. A score is basically the accuracy. Okay, so, so our, our accuracy is 1.0. That is like 100% uh, uh, prediction on the training set. Now let's see whether it's able to generalize well on the test set. Okay, so it's about 96.6, 97% accuracy. So the code is working fine. This the objective was just to check whether the uh, XGBoost library is uh, downloaded properly and it's working fine. So basically, so you just need to go to this uh, this link. I'll put the description. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, or you can just uh, Google search it, and you need to run this uh, this line of code in your Anaconda prompt. So I hope this was useful. This was a basic installation, but sometimes it's um, sometimes you'll have to search uh, what code to run. So I hope it was useful. Thank you and take care.